Hey everyone, my name is Tony and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about Double Cut and how it can speed up your workflow inside of SketchUp. Let's get started. So this is my scene here and let's suppose I wanted to add a window opening to this wall. Now with the SketchUp native tool, the typical workflow would be to go inside this group, draw the opening itself, and we can line this up to this wall and also to our floor. And then we would extrude this so we have the opening on our wall. Notice that there is also a baseboard in here, so we can extrude this to create an opening. And now we can bring the window in and make sure that it fits in place. And for the sake of an exercise, we can just scale it into the opening. So this would be the typical workflow. Now, something that happens quite often in real life projects is that things tend to move around, right? So let's hide this for a second. Suppose this shifts two feet to the left, you're now facing a completely different issue where you have to go into your group and also expand this by two feet. And then you will have to do the same for the baseboard. Now you can imagine and see how this could be very time consuming, especially if you have a couple of openings in your model. And at some point this starts to hurt your workflow more than it benefits because you're then wasting a lot of time in making these small tweaks. So let me show you a much smarter and optimal way with double cut. So double cut adds a cutting component that cuts holes into groups and components, allowing you to easily insert doors and windows or any custom openings in your SketchUp model. And not only that, but the cuts remain updated as you move, scale, or rotate your component. So for a quick demonstration, the first function places a cutting component in my scene. This component is a one to one meter square, which can also be a window. And when I position this component on my wall, it creates an opening through the wall. And as I move this component around, you can see that the cut moves along with it. You can also scale this component as well as rotate. And you will notice that the cut updates along with it. So as you can see, this solves the entire workflow that I've shown earlier. Keep in mind that double cut is not limited to cut through groups with one object, but it also cuts well in groups with multiple objects. For example, this wall includes gypsum boards, studs, and insulation, and you can see that it does pretty well in both examples. So now that we understand how double cut works, we can set our window as a double cut component. So first we need to adjust to settings, the max cut depth and the forward cut depth. Max cut depth is the depth behind the window. So this should be greater than the wall thickness. Since my wall is around one feet, we can set this to two feet. And the forward cut depth is the depth in front of the window. So this is simply to take care of our baseboard. So our baseboard is one inch and we can set this to two inches. So the next step is to create an outline around our window. We only need the edges for this so we can delete the face. And then you can select both the window and the cutting edge and create a component. So we're going to simply call this window cut open. So for the component settings, you want to set glue to any. For the component axis, this is very important. So first we're going to click on this corner for our starting point. Next, you want to set the red axis along the front length of the window. The green axis becomes the vertical height. And that leaves the blue axis to be the depth of our window. So this is the axis setup you want to follow. You also want to check cut opening and hit create to finish your component. So now when we place the window on our wall, it will cut through the wall as well as the baseboard. Keep in mind that the wall and the baseboard are grouped as one, so the cut affects that entire group. 
So for me, this is an excellent workflow for cutting openings in SketchUp. It takes care of a lot of repeated steps. And another advantage of double cut components is that when you make a copy, it maintains the double cut attributes. So all I have to do is move it to the right location. So to maximize the benefits of the double cut feature, you can pair it up with live components. These are parametric components that allow you to control specific attributes. For example, with this sliding door, I can adjust the opening percentage, direction, and I can also add a transom. But like my other component, I can easily convert this into a double cut component. So this means not only can this component now cut through walls, but it also retains all the advantages of a live component. So I can still go into my component and make changes to those attributes. So here's another quick example where double cut is really effective. So I have a one foot six inch wall with a one inch baseboard. We have, I have my custom door and I have the rough opening for this door. So step number one is to convert these edges into a double cut component. So create a component, move to any, check cut opening, set the component axis accordingly, and click create. Note that both the wall and the baseboard are on separate groups. And when I put my opening to the wall, it will affect the wall, but not the baseboard. So what you want to do is paste the baseboard in the same group as the wall, so it reads as one. Hit refresh. And now everything works as it should. So to review, the wall is one foot six inches. So if we go to double cut and check our max cut depth, you can see that it's two feet. So it's greater than that wall depth. And if we double check the forward cut depth, you can see that it's two inches, which is also greater than the one inch baseboard. So now we could easily place this door on that location. I simply put, if you wanted to move this door, select everything and just move all that along together and everything follows accordingly. So here we have another common example where double cut can be extremely useful. We have this wood cabin and we want to add an opening for a chimney that runs for a chimney or a fireplace that could be here on the floor and runs all the way up through the roof to the exterior. So let's create our rough opening and this will become the rough shape for our chimney. We're going to make this into a group and this is going to be our rough opening and we're going to make this into a double cut component. See opening, set the glue to any, check cut opening. Component axis, we need to set the blue as a vertical. First click, set the red axis. Now the green axis needs to be to run this way so that the blue axis becomes vertical. Then we can set create. And now we should be good to go. Now you can see that nothing has been done yet. No opening whatsoever. So when we place this down, you can see that it already cuts through the bottom, but we need this to cut vertically. So we're going to measure from floor to ceiling height, which is roughly around 11 feet. Because we only need this to cut in one direction, you can set the max cut depth to zero. So the only value we need to adjust is the forward cut depth. And we can set this to 15 feet so it exceeds the floor to ceiling height. And when we refresh, we should get that opening right here. And if you look closer at this model, you can see that double cut cuts through the entire group. You can even see the layers right in the middle of the cut. And this is great non-destructive modeling since you don't have to go into the group itself and cut an opening into each individual object. So now I can extrude this up knowing that when I move this chimney, the cut will follow right along with it. So this is a great feature to have, great way to model in SketchUp and great way to save time. So that's going to be all for this video. Be sure to leave a comment down below and let us know what you think of Double Cut. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video.